All right, guys. So now every time when we are making any changes in our app.js, we need to stop the server and again start by saying node app, right? And I don't want this to, I don't want to do this every time. So what I'm going to do is install a dependency called node mod, all right? And what it does is whenever you, whenever you create any change, you don't need to stop the server and start the server again, okay? Nodemon keeps track of all the changes that's been happening and re-renders your application. So what I'm going to do is say npm install Nodemon, all right? All right, guys, so our Nodemon is installed. If you go to our package.json, here in our dependencies list, we see Nodemon with its version, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is here in our scripts, instead of this test, I'm going to say start. All right. And instead of this right here, I'm going to say nodemon app. So what it, what this does is when we start our server, all right, when we start our server, we're telling nodemon to look at our app file app.js which is app.js file and keep track of any changes that is being happening and make changes accordingly all right so in this way we don't have to stop the server and start again in order to make the changes nodemon does it itself for us and here in order to start the server now we have to say npm start all right if you press enter this will start Nodemon and as you can see the server is running all right so if you look go back and look here all right so that's that and by doing this we don't have to every time say node app and then kill the and then stop the server in order to make the changes all right we don't have to do that okay now let's move on to displaying our HTML page now as I said earlier instead of this res dot send hello world or about we would want to send the entire page all right now you can do that by sending a static HTML file but for our project we're not going to do that instead we are we are going to use something called templating engines all right so templating engines are not a part of Express all right but you can use templating engines in order to return web pages or HTML files. Now, there is a difference between using a templating engine and using a static HTML file. And the difference is that templating engines can have access to data and it can display the data in our web page. All right. A static HTML file cannot do that. Once you've created uh, the HTML file and that's it. All right. You can't do any changes. But in case of templating engines, it will behave depending on what data you are sending or you can also either uh, you know just make it st static now there are lots of uh, templating engines such as handlebars bug but for our project I'm gonna use a templating engine which is called EJS all right if I go to EJS there you go this is the website for EJS all right it's a templating engine and you can actually go on and read the documentation if you want okay so in order to install EJS what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here this will create a new terminal all right we have this terminal now I'm creating new because I don't want to kill the node one uh, so what I'm going to do is say npm install EJS all right Let's press enter. So the EGS is installed. Now what I'm going to do is create a folder called views. All right. And inside that views, I'm going to create an EGS file, which is home and let it be, let the first one be in first letter be in capital home dot EGS. All right. And it should be a dot EGS file okay so basically this this page is for our the root page all right what I'm gonna do is just create the basic HTML layout all right now if you are in a Visual Studio code all you have to do is create a semicolon and then hit tab this will create the basic HTML structure all right 
and here it's let me just add an h1 and say this is the home page all right and let's change the title to express that now this is basically HTML all right uh, just the name of the file is dot EJS all right basically rest of thing rest of the thing is just HTML all right okay it's just that when you're adding uh, something dynamically like uh, data or stuff like that there are certain code that you need to add but the rest is just HTML so this is what we will be displaying for now when someone goes to our root path all right and we also need to tell Express that we are using EJS as our templating engine all right because right now our application does not know what home.ejs is so we need to tell that let me so let me come down here and I'm gonna comment out and say set templating engine as EJS all right and for that what I'm gonna I'm gonna use another method all right and that is gonna be app dot set all right and as the name suggests it sets the value of something all right so it takes two parameters the first one will be what we are setting all right so we are setting something called view engine all right and the second one will be what we are setting it to so we are setting it to EJS all right so now this code tells express that the view engine we are using is EJS okay so you need to add this code in order to use EJS and here instead of res.send hello world what I'm gonna do is say res.render and inside this code I'm gonna say home which is the name of this file alright and if you save this let's go to our site and once you hit once you refresh the page no default engine was specified and no extension was provided hmm. oh that's because you don't need to add a hyphen in here all right view space engine save that and now it's saying this is the home page all right and this is basically what we have the code that we have written here all right and also if you look at the title here it's changed to express diary and if you look at the code now all right so this is basically our what we had written in our EJS so when we added res.render home and here you don't even need to specify the location all right once you set the view engine it will know that the templating files are present inside the views folder all right that's why the folder name should be views so it will directly look over that so you don't need to specify specify the location all right you just need to add the name of the file that you need to that you want to display so what res.render does is that right now you have this html and it is saved as home.ejs all right dot ejs file so what render method does is converts that ejs file into your html because again the browser understands html and not ejs all right so it converts ejs or any templating engine into your html okay so here if you add a p tag and say blah 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 go here okay so this is how you actually set up your templating engine first you install it in our case we installed EJS all right then you set the templating engine set or set the view engine to whatever templating engine that you're using in our case which is EJS again and create a views folder and inside that you can create your EJS file all right here you instead of just uh, st you know uh, displaying a static file you can also add a value all right if you want to add a value you add a comma here and create an object all right you have to create an object the first one will be let's just add a let's just say value and set that to hello world right 
you can add a number a boolean or anything I just, I've just added a string and set that to value this name is what you will need in your EJS as well all right so if you go to home.ejs and let's remove this and here if you want to display a value okay because you have passed the value here all right so if you want to display that value now this is how you insert EJS code all right add a bracket and a percent and also close the same way and if you want to add a value or any value that you have passed then you add an equal to sign here and the name of that value which in this case is value right so if you save that you now if I go to this page again if you refresh the page you get hello world all right so this is how you can add value in your EJS file okay so this is what I talk this is what I meant about the difference between normal HTML and using a templating engine all right everything right here is HTML except for this code and this code is basically displaying the value that you are passing from app.js all right so this is a big advantage of using templating engine over static HTML